Hey, what's going on guys? I have the Y7 2019 right here and we're gonna take a look at it and do a full, you know, review on it in 2020. But um, I think this thing is really cool. And a lot of people are hitting me up in the comment section about it. So let's just talk about it in 2020 and see if it's a, <laughs> a phone that we can still use, which we definitely can, I'm a spoiler alert. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Right now I have my Y7 2019. It was released in March 2019. It had a um, 168 grams of weight. It has Android 8.1. It comes with MUI 8.2 out of box as well with 32 gigabytes of internal storage and three gigabytes of ram so i definitely think that's pretty cool it also has a 6.2 inch display which is definitely a great size 720 display times 1520 pixels which is actually really good for outdoor usage you can see there's no issues whatsoever when it comes to the clarity of the screen in broad daylight now when it comes to the, the build quality we're getting polycarbonate material micro usb charger down at the bottom headphone jack as well um, we're getting a really nice camera system on this thing with 13 megapixels on the back But the really sick thing is that the front um, Camera is actually going to be an 8 megapixel for some really good shots, too Now you are getting a depth sensor, which is a 2 megapixel Depth sensor as well with the snapdragon 450 14 nanometers So I could definitely say at the octa core 1.8 Cortex A53 was actually smooth as butter and considering that the LG Stylo 5 had this same processor the Huawei did it right because they actually offered you adaptable storage so you can actually switch apps to the SD card which was actually pretty sick so I definitely think that it was even though it had the same chipset as the Stylo 5 this one I definitely prefer because the Stylo 5 takes up 16 uh, gigabytes of storage straight out of system memory but this one actually takes up 8 out of so you get a ton more storage with an expandable SD card slot as well so I definitely thought that was pretty cool now we are getting um some really good display on this thing as well you, know, you have um facial recognition a fingerprint sensor on the back as well it comes in um, a couple of different colors the midnight black the coral red and the aurora blue too now the price point of this thing is actually pretty sick i got it for like 179 it's actually a lot cheaper now um it does also offer um you know bluetooth 4.2 as well you're getting 19 by 9 aspect ratio and uh 269 pixels per inch as well so i can honestly say that it was a good camera on the front with the you know like the selfie camera at 8 megapixels as well um you can see that it didn't blow out too much of the background it captured a lot of vivid details when it came to the face uh, faces behind me and some of the details on my face too as well as capturing some good lighting and not oversaturating the foreground or the background too much either too but when it came to that 13 megapixel rear camera at 1.8 pdaf um with a depth sensor as well 2 megapixel was definitely pretty sick as well you can see we were getting some really good zoom capabilities out of this phone as well now this device does also offer a 4000 milliamp hour battery with 10 watt um charging which is actually pretty fast so it's not going to be like the fastest in the world but um you will experience some really good um, charging times too and now you, you can definitely experience some really good battery life out of this thing which was one of the strong points i could definitely say the battery on this thing lasted me way throughout you know one day and after a whole full day i didn't even charge it and when i left my house it was like at 90 percent and i was still at 70 percent which is actually nuts at the end of the day so i do have like three other phones that i use on a daily basis as well so you know i kind of spread out usage in between all four but you see the camera systems are actually pretty sick on this device um you're getting a lot of cool features such as the um, panorama mode aperture mode which is actually going to give you bokeh um you also get a nice beauty mode which is actually pretty cool if you don't want to um you know like sometimes i have a lot of wrinkles on my face or just a lot of um 
blemishes and stuff so you can throw, throw the beauty mode on like level three and it'll actually like clear those out which is pretty cool um this the main camera is a 1080p 30 frames per second shooter now you are getting some really cool features on this thing as well when it comes to that um that mode right there you can see you're getting some really cool filters that are just built right into the camera so this is not additional this has just come straight out of the camera and you don't have to do any extra downloads or anything like that but basically the build of this thing is solid you're getting a nice front glass back plastic plastic frame as well so no no metal is built with this thing but honestly i could say that the materials felt pretty premium in my hand um huawei always puts together really good devices as you can see that this extra feature is awesome. hey what's up y'all i'm in another world right now <laughs> where y'all want to go to the beach hold on one second all right we at the beach right now <laughs> this is dope but honestly those those ar um features in the camera built right in look really cool you could kind of play around with it mess around with it to your own liking and you could you get a whole slew of options to choose from now this thing does also come with the gps ag um nice um gps system with the glow nas as well um it comes with micro usb 2.0 and fm radio which is actually pretty cool as you can see the stabilization on the camera is um not the best in the world but you are getting some really good, vivid, clear uh, shots and um, really good so uh, focus as well. So if I had this thing on a gimbal, honestly, I could say this camera would probably look 10 times better. But, um, you know, I don't. So this is how it looks when it's like just naturally being shot. But honestly, I could say that this thing did surprise me in the price point and held up really well amongst some of its other counterparts and some other uh, phones in the class, which I think was pretty cool. Um, honestly, I could say that this is probably one of my favorite devices that I've actually been able to use in 2019 and going into 2020. So um, this model is actually a really good model. It's the Dub dub model and um it's gonna basically offer all the updates the google play store um you're gonna be able to watch netflix there's not gonna be any issues whatsoever with this thing so you can see the cameras are really clear you're getting some really decent stabilization on the front facing 8 megapixel as well but honestly i could say that the platform of this device the the os the chipset the cpu and the gpu is intact and it's really nice in the budget price point for the price that you're actually paying you're going to be able to play a lot of games and a variety of different games as well as high graphic intensive games as well as call of duty PUBG, and things like that no fortnite because we have a 450 snapdragon which you only can play high graphic teams such as fortnite with like a 700 series processor but honestly i gotta say this device is really suitable for the price point and definitely a steal when you're actually thinking about all the things that you're actually getting with it now it doesn't have wireless charging it doesn't have nfc it doesn't have um anything like that but you do get a ton of features for the money that you're paying for this thing but um if you found this video helpful leave a comment down below hit the bell icon now all around this is just a really good bang for your buck if you're into like android and um you know like a really good ecosystem as well when it comes to like basically like the huawei brand as a whole like they've definitely got their act together they've also released some some buds that you can pair along with the huawei devices too but they also do have like laptops and computers you could pair along with your device as well if you wanted to get into the huawei ecosystem but honestly the nighttime footage and cinematography was really good as well and um it's actually impressive just to say the least for this price point the um, algorithm of the camera was mapped really well. The colors pop really nicely. And also the sky, the buildings, the colors, everything just looks really good and it pops. Now those lights don't actually like, um, they don't they don't bleed light. You, you know, it doesn't like have any issues with light capture. You can see the, the light is captured really well. And um, overall, I could say that this camera is definitely usable. Um, it's not going to be like a flagship device, so I wouldn't expect anything more than what I'm getting right now, but you are getting uh, 600, I'm sorry, 269 pixels per inch on the display. 
Um, it's an IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen as well. You do get, um, also you do get um, a hybrid dual SIM with two designated spots to put two different SIM cards in, as well as an additional slot for SD card expansion, which is kind of cool. So I definitely think that's pretty sick. But um, overall, this device does punch um, really hard above its weight class. And honestly, I could say it's a definite steal if you're looking for a, a really nice device as well. It has nice haptic feedback when you're typing. Um, if you have any issues with the keyboard, just download Swift keyboard, which I use instead of the one that comes with it. But um, I definitely would recommend that keyboard because it just makes typing a whole lot smoother. It's called Swift keyboard. So um, let me know if, down below what you think about the Huawei Y72, Y7 2019 and 2020 that came out in March 2019. Leave your comments down below and let me know. But I definitely appreciate every last one of you for checking this video out. I still use my Huawei Y7 2019 because I like the cameras and I like the battery and I like the overall feel in my hand and display as well. But let me know what you think about the, the Huawei Y7 2019 in the comment section down below. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, good night, and I'll check you guys on the next video. Peace.